Can you solve one mark from the hardest physics Olympiad there is, namely the International Physics Olympiad? Let's have a look at this question from the 2017 International Physics Olympiad in Indonesia. Now, this question is about galaxies, in particular clusters of galaxies. So the question is to find the total gravitational potential energy in terms of m and r. R, where R is the radius of a cluster of galaxy that I've pictured over here, and M is the total mass contained with this, within this cluster. Okay, well, in order to answer this question, let's think about mass and density. Remember, density is mass over volume, therefore the mass is going to be equal to the volume multiplied by the density. Now, the mass now will no longer just be a constant, it will really be a function of r, because if I take a little piece of the sphere around here, that's going to have a little bit of mass. As r increases, I'm going to be getting more and more mass until we reach a maximum radius r. So I'm going to say that this thing here is a function of the radius. Now, how does the volume uh, depend in a... Uh, how does the volume change? Well, this here will just be the volume of a sphere, which is just given by 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now my plan for this question in order to find the total gravitational potential energy would be to consider the formula for it, typically given the symbol u. So remember u is minus gmm over r. Now, rather than a small mass, because we're assuming continuous density distribution, we'll probably be integrating, I'm going to be considering a tiny amount of mass, which I'm going to say is, let's just call it dm. Okay, well, in order to find dm, let's differentiate that with respect to r, that dm by dr is going to equal to 4 thirds. Now, the 3s are going to cancel because I'm going to get 3 over 3, 4 pi r squared times the density. So this will just give me, let's just rearrange for dm. So in those infinitesimal quantities, we can treat it as a fraction. We're going to get that dm will be 4 pi r squared times the density times dr. So we have an expression for dm. Now what we can do is we can plug in this expression here for m, we can also plug in this expression here for dm, and we can integrate with respect to r from 0 to the point at which r is well equal to capital R. Let's just change this to lowercase r that turns into capital R when we reach the edge of the galaxy cluster. So, what we're going to get is, let's just consider u will be minus g. Now m is 4 thirds pi r cubed times the density multiplied by dm, which is 4 pi r squared times the density dr. And what we can do is uh, also with what we need to do is just divide, so let's just write it like this, by r. Okay, well, we're going to take this expression and we're going to be integrating that from 0 to r is equal to r. But this integral will actually be pretty straightforward because all we need to do is just a little bit of cancellation. And there's a whole bunch of constants in here that we can take outside of the integral sign. Taking all of those constants outside of the integral sign is going to give us minus g 16 pi squared over 3 multiplied by the density squared. Then we just have the integral from 0 to r of r to the power of or with respect to R. So, of course, this will give us a total gravitational potential energy, including dark matter, including all of the mass inside of the gravitational cluster to be just this, these constants, so minus g times 16 pi squared rho squared over 3, and then we're going to get R to the power of 5 divided by uh, divided by 5. So this is going to give us a total expression for u to be equal to minus g 16 pi squared rho squared 
r to the power of 5 divided by a factor of 15. But we are not done yet. Have a look at the question. It's asking us to find the total gravitational potential energy in terms of m and in terms of r. And we have this relatively complicated expression in terms of 16 pi squared, rho squared, etc. So what we need to do is express one of those quantities in terms of the mass m. So what I'm going to say is, I'll just come back to this equation here. And I'm going to say that if m is 4 thirds pi r cubed, multiplied by the density, then the density is going to equal 3 times 3 times uh, m, and then that, that's going to be divided by 4 pi r cubed. So let's square the, uh, the density, uh, because in this expression the density is indeed squared. So the density squared will just give us, so 3 squared is going to give us a factor of 9. Now then we're going to get m squared divided by uh, 4 squared, which is 16 pi squared, and then r cubed uh, will give us a factor of r to the power of 6. So let's take this expression here and we can bring this over to here. We're almost done. This is starting to quite a substantial mark from the International Physics Olympiad. What we're going to get is that u is going to equal to minus g and then we have 16 over 15 pi squared. And now rather than rho squared, I'm going to write this expression here, which is 9m squared over 16 pi squared uh, r to the power of 6. And then I have a factor of r to the power of 5, which is coming from here. And now we've got quite a lot of cancellations to do. So let's do uh, some, some cancellations. And we're going to get minus uh, g, and then the 16s are going to cancel, the pi squared are going to cancel, the 9 and the 15 let's divide by a factor of 3, so this is going to give us a factor of 3 over 5, so that's going to be 3 over 5, and um, we have a factor of m squared here, like so, r to the power of 5, Five will cancel out, leaving a factor of r. And let's just tidy this expression. I'm almost out of space on my pretty big whiteboard. And what we are going to get for the total gravitational potential energy is minus 3 over 5. And uh, then we have a factor of g, a factor of m squared and a factor of r. So after all this work, we've actually arrived at a really elegant answer for the total gravitational potential energy within this gravitational cluster. And this whole work here is just one mark of the International Physics Olympiad. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, guys. If you're interested in another Olympiad problem, have a look over there.